Hey guys, it's me, Nicole. I know it's like really early in the morning. It's like a little bit after four, but most of you guys know that um, I don't sleep too well, so that's why I'm up. <laughs> All right, guys, I have a close up, like it's really close up. And the reason why it's really close up on my face, because I want to share with you most of you know that, um, you know, after I cleanse my face, I uh, put my retinol on and then I put other serums on. Well, you know, after you put all that on, you need something to lock in all that moisture on your face. So you have to have some kind of night cream. Okay, so uh, like I said, I used to use the uh, Shea Moisture rose hip uh night cream and then uh i switched over not because i didn't like it but i just wanted to try something different so in some of my other videos guys i've been talking about um using uh vaseline which you can use the off brand what is this petroleum jelly it's nothing fancy so this right here, my face is washed. Uh, you know, I put a couple of different things on, so getting like this weird puffiness thing sometimes. And so, um, I have a puffiness cream that I put on. And then, um, after the puffiness, uh, serum I put on, uh, I also, then, then after that, I put on a, uh, it has rose hip in it, but it's a brightener for your skin so it doesn't look dull. And, uh, let's see. Then after that, I put my vegan retinol on. I let that soak in for a little bit. Then I put a, uh, Oregon oil on. Let that set in. And then the last one I will put in on my face is, uh, the rose hip oil, which is like my favorite. And uh, so again, you need to put some kind of moisture on your face to lock it all in, you know? And um, so I just wanted to share with you. Now, let me show you. I'm gonna put it up real close. As you can see, let me see if I can do this. It's kind of weird. But as you can see, it's just petroleum jelly. Nothing fancy, guys. Okay. It's a new it's a new one. I just got it today when I was out. Petroleum jelly. If you go and buy Vaseline, guys, Vaseline is just a name brand. It's petroleum jelly. So I just want you guys to know that. Vaseline is just the name of the product. But Petroleum jelly, nothing fancy. This right here is from the Dollar General store. It's a dollar twenty-five. That's it for this. Uh, let's see what do we have here? Three point five, three ounces, dollar twenty-five. Uh, this is just the regular one. Now I also like uh, the petroleum jelly and uh, cocoa butter scent, which also they have. Okay, it's from the Dollar General store also, uh, dollar twenty-five, and all depending on what Dollar General store you have, you know you go to, um, they're gonna have different ones. But usually, most of them have the cocoa but most of them have the cocoa butter one, and they always have like just the plain Vaseline ones. Now when I was there today. I also seen one, I had like a pink label, and I guess it was like Vaseline, like baby scent. I didn't smell it, I didn't get it, cause you know, there's no reason for me to get it, but um, like I said, they do have a baby scent one, uh, and that's also a $1.25. Uh, like I said, it's brand new, and I just wanted to show you I'm going to show you on camera uh, what's
what this look like, you know, what this looks like when it goes on your uh, skin. Vaseline is very thick. So what you want to do is um, when you take it, you're going to want to rub it in your hands for a little bit and almost like heat it up so it gets thinner because it's very thick. Okay, so I'm going to show you right now how I do it. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to do this with holding the camera in one hand and this in another. So just bear with me. And um, guys, it's not going to take a lot of this to do your face. Like I said, it's really thick. And so you only need a light layer. You don't need a whole bunch of this because otherwise it's just going to be like really sticky. Okay. So it's on my finger and... I will show you. See, I took it out of there. So, it's on my finger. And like I said, hope I can show this properly because, um, you know, I'm holding this with one hand. So, as you can see, I just want to kind of roll it around. And as you can see, it's really thick. Okay, guys, so you just kind of... Now, if I was using both hands, I would rub them together. But since I'm doing this... You want to rub it together really, really good until, you know, until it's almost like a see-through where you don't really see a lot of clumps. And it you can feel as you're doing this with your hands that uh, it'll get thinner as you do it. It almost heats up like a little bit, which is nice. It's really silky. Okay, so say so you can't really see much anymore. Let me get a little... Okay, so let me see if I can do this. Okay, so you're just going to kind of... Work it around in your face. Okay. Work it around. Make sure you get everywhere, you know. Under your eyes, your eyelids. Make sure you don't get this in your eye, though. So be careful. Okay. You just want to, you know, be gentle when you go around your eyeballs. Now, this is petroleum jelly. This also can go in your lips. That's you know, a lot of people, that's what it was made for also. I mean, chapped lips, stuff like that. So, when you put this on your face, you can do your lips too. So, there you go. Now, you want to get your neck, okay? You want to get all of this. Get your neck, okay? All up in here, behind your ears. You know, you just want to want to work it in. And as you can see, it looks shiny, but um, once you work it in, it's not going to be like uh, really sticky and stuff. Really, the only time it's going to be really sticky, again, if it's really thick. So that's why you really want to work it in. So I just really want to work it in there. And it feels really nice. Like I said, it's smooth. It doesn't feel heavy. You know, now if you just went in there and took your hand and you took that big chunk and you went like that yeah it's gonna feel a little weird because it's a lot so best thing to do is again put on your hand rub it in till it gets thin and a little bit warm and then apply it at least that's what i like you do what you want your face you know your product but this is how i like to apply it and, you know my ears and you know like you know everywhere and if I had my other hand free, like, I would do my whole, all my hand, both my hands, my arms, my elbows, uh, everything. But like I said, I got to hold one with the camera, so can't do it. Okay, guys, so I'm trying to, like, do this the best I can, like I said, with one hand. So, um, yeah. Now, as you can see, I worked it in, okay, the lips. Now, whatever product you put on your face, your neck, your decollete right here and everything, you're going to want to push it all up. So, take everything you just put on and up, 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 up. And so what if it gets in your hair? It's not going to, it's not going to hurt your hair at all. It might be a little greasy, but. Again, it's not going to hurt your hair. This petroleum jelly is also good, like, 
um, if you're the kind of person you want to do your edges, like, say you, you put gel in your hair, but it really doesn't do anything. If you take this petroleum jelly, you can also, like I said, do your edges with it. I mean, it works really good in a pinch, you know. Uh, like I said, you know, you put on your lips, you could do everything with it. You know, I'm shiny. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Going to bed. Whatever. Like I said, I got my little bonnet on. It helps keep your hair in place when you're doing your face, when you're washing your face and everything. Love these. These are not expensive, guys, at all. They come in all different colors. Uh, you know, short, long, extra long, or depending on, um, you know, how long your hair is. I got the really, really short one because I don't have long hair. I don't need the really long one. Um, a lot of times, you can go to Super Walmart and get these for like, oh my goodness, I think like, I don't know. Sometimes they're like 99 cents, a dollar. I know you can get them at the Dollar General store. Again, they used to be 99 cents. But a lot of the Dollar General stores now, everything's a dollar twenty-five, and uh, they have nice ones, you know, nice silk ones and everything for dollar twenty-five. You can get a bonnet almost anywhere. You can buy them online. Almost any store you can buy them on. They're not expensive. Uh, you know, again, all depending on what color you want. You know, um, you know, if you want the long one, short one. You know, you do what's in your budget. You don't have to go crazy. You know, I have this one. I also have a, a full, just regular pink one. Uh, but some, a lot of them are different. Like, this one just has, like, a little elastic band on it. This one almost reminds me of, like, a shower, like a shower cap kind of one. But my pink one has, like, a really thick band. I don't wear it a lot. Uh, because it starts giving me, like, too much pressure, and then I start getting headaches. I'm already prone to migraines, so if I do wear it, I don't wear it that long. This one, though, because it only has that little, let me see if I can, like, it's just a little, little band in there. I can wear this, you know, all night, all day. It doesn't bother me. Um, I have curly to wavy hair, and, uh, I have fine hair, and I'm the kind of person where if I don't have something on my hair, you know, like a bonnet, or if I wrap it, I'll wake up in the morning, and I'll literally have, like, a rat's nest in the back of my head. And what I mean by rat's nest, like, they'll just be, like, hair clump that's, like, together, like a big knot. And I can brush it up before I go to bed. It don't matter. I put one of these caps on, and you wrap your hair. I usually don't have that problem. But again... You know, um, everybody's different. You know, somebody might say, oh, I wear it, I, I still get knots. Again, everybody has different hair types. Everybody has different lengths. You know, everybody's hair is in different condition. I'm just telling you, you know, how uh, I fare through it. All right, guys. Well... I want to thank you for uh, joining me tonight. Well, this morning, actually, because it's way after 4 o'clock. And, um, yeah, I want to thank um, all my subscribers, my new subscribers. I want to thank all the people that just come by and uh, watch my videos. You know, because every one of you count, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. And so I just want to say thank you like again. Thank you. God bless. You have a good morning and a good afternoon. And I hope to see you later. And bye. Good night.